Okay, so please don't mind the, the noise in the background in this temple, but this video, first off, welcome to my channel. For those who have notifications on and people that just not seen this, like, this video is going to basically be about why I haven't been making videos. I only made one video, so if you haven't, yeah. So I'm new, I'm new, and yes. I have been gone for a long time and I've been making videos even though I said I was I haven't I have made videos but have not finished them and um like I just haven't been motivated to do it first off I'm gonna just say I haven't been myself um I have been going through some things I actually started to make a video about why I did this but I didn't finish it, like I said, because I just haven't been motivated to do it. It's not like I'm going to quit YouTube, because I'm actually about to redo my channel, basically. Even though I haven't really made a video, I only made one, which was corny, but I still made it. So y'all can see some. And basically, I'm just saying, I'm going to restart it, send it to everybody, you know, get my notifications, people... You know they like they need something to see because really it's just them same youtubers everybody watch i want to give somebody something new this youtube channel was made for funny purposes and i just haven't been in a funny mood i've been stressed you know i want to say stressing it's just finding myself really like, i haven't been myself People want to know why me and somebody blah, blah, blah. And why me and somebody blah, blah, blah. Why I blah, blah, blah. Because I just wasn't myself when I was with blah, blah. blah. It's because it's, it just wasn't, I wasn't me. I wasn't my happiest person. I was happy. I didn't say I, I wasn't happy. I was happy. I just wasn't me. If you know what I'm saying? I felt pushed. I felt like I was over overworking myself for a 16-year-old. I feel like I was put in a adult situation, really. I was like a parent, but I'm only a kid and I don't need that stress added on to my plate because I need to focus on my school. My grades wasn't where I needed them to be. I I wasn't in the right state of mind. I was just in the moment. Um, people, I was distant from my friends. I was distant from family. I was distant from myself. Like, I might say that a couple times in this video because it's true. Like, some people notice. <clears throat> My friends that I knew for a long time, they noticed. They noticed how I was changing, how I wasn't myself, how I wasn't the old Andrew that they used to always talk to, how they always, who they met. Like, I just wasn't me. People that I know for a year, it was like, they even noticed that I changed. And I feel like, I didn't even notice. I just thought I was myself, but I wasn't. And most people don't notice it themselves. It takes other people to tell them to open their eyes. And I had to look at myself in the mirror and was like, yo, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, chill out. You was not being yourself. This, this, and that. And then I had to, you know, I had to get away from that negativity and put myself in a situation where I will be myself again. So now I've been just like working on myself, fixing myself, um, talking to my old friends, getting back to how I used to be because I wasn't happy. 
I realized I wasn't, I was happy, but I was growing to not be happy with myself because of a situation. And that person knows, I talk to that person, person understands, person is giving me time, the person is giving me space, and I need that space. And what one thing people fail to realize is that it was public, but they still, like, I felt pushed. Like, I was happy with what I was in, but people pushed and pushed and pushed to get closer. And people was all up in my business. People, people, like, every time I go somewhere, I can't never talk about myself. I can't never be myself without hearing about the specific person. Like, yes, I know when you you know what you signed up for, but I still need a separate life from that. Like, I don't need, I'm not married, so I don't need that to be my whole life. I need my life with myself, my life with my family, my life with the other person, and not just me and that person. Like, it just, it always felt like, that was the main topic of everything, every situation. And I wouldn't I wouldn't even just say it was other people, it was me. I always talked about that person, I always this, this and that, I always based everything on that person. And I wasn't doing things for myself, my family, my friends. I wasn't doing anything for anybody else. It was just me and that person. I wasn't even do it wasn't even just me. It was just that person. That person, that person, that person. Blah, blah, blah. It was like I felt like I don't know. I felt like we rushed it. Kind of. Yes, because, like, I had a job. I had got a job. I had school. I had a relationship. I had family. And um, every weekend I was going to a person's house. Every weekend I was, I was just, it was always packed. And I feel like if I try to hang out with myself or, like, just try to hang out with some friends, I feel like I would mess up. What I had, and I didn't want to mess that up, so I just kept going over there, going over there, and like it's just, it's like I never talked to my friends. So my best friend, I didn't even talk to. My other best friend, barely talked to. I used to talk to them all the time. I didn't talk to them, and every time we have a conversation, I always talked about that person, and it made them feel some type of way because it always made that person my main priority, and that wasn't acceptable like you know when you have to break something from your life because you realize that it's changing you and you shouldn't be in a situation where you are changing for the bad not for the good and you need to separate yourself from that and it's hard because when you've been in that situation for so long, it's hard to break from it. But you know what you have to do because you are in the right mindset. Like, if you know what I'm saying, I don't know if you get me or not. But it's like, I feel like I didn't want to, but I know that's what I had to do. I feel like I need to focus on myself for like a very long time. And when you're getting pushed into something, like, I really hate being pushed. I like to do things on my own. I like to go at my own pace. I don't like to be pushed into something. I don't like to be forced. I don't like to be made to do something. I like to do it on my own terms, unless if I have to. Now, if you... Say, say if you was to, um, say if you had somebody that you was with and, like, people were like, oh, y'all cute, y'all should never break up. Oh, y'all this, that. Oh, y'all should, blah, blah. like, why are you guys saying your opinions? Because I know what I'm in. I know that we were cute together. Like, that's things that you just, just don't do because... That could cause somebody to break up. That could cause people to feel like that. They shouldn't break up because of what other people think. And it's just opinions that people don't really need to hear. I mean, 
and it also say I don't even want to say it. It's just like being forced into something like. I'm going to just say it like. My, I felt, I felt forced into it because. Families was coming into the picture and it's like. That's hard because you meet people that you love like like their family so nice family treats you as their own and it's like a loving vibe that I loved and like when you when you feel like you're not in the right situation with the person but you fall in love with the family it's so hard to break away from it because um you build like a connection with them that you don't want to break because you and that person doesn't work out. So that's that's another thing because you feel forced into it when families coming in together because your family basically and then to like lose that is hard. But I'm just saying it's like that situation I was in. It wasn't like a situation that I wanted to lose. Like, I like where I was at. I just felt like I wasn't in my right. I, I wasn't myself, really. Like, I don't know how many times I got to say that, but I do. I felt like I wasn't myself. I felt like I wasn't in the right situation at the time. I felt like I needed to wait. I felt like I need time for myself. I need time to cope. I need time to go through what teenagers go through by myself because when one teenager is stressing and another teenager is stressing and they're stressing together it's just going to be one big stress and I don't want to deal with that I don't want to have to deal with somebody else stress on top of my stress because that's just going to be one big stress and who who wants to deal with that no in like school Oh, grades was slipping. And I was like, what am I doing? I got so caught up with me and that person that I didn't focus on school. I was always, oh, man, time. My time was wasted, really. I'm not saying, oh, no. I'm not saying it was wasted. It's just that, like, I wasn't, I didn't organize my time. Like, you know, I'm supposed to get time for your homework, get time for your chores, get time for your job, get time for the... It wasn't... It was just... Job him. Job him. Job him. It wasn't job school him. It was like... It wasn't... The time just wasn't... And I wasn't allowed to do it. It's like... My time... I didn't have... I wasn't allowed to have my own time, basically. And you know when people... That's what you sign up for. You know what you sign up for. No, and the thing about it, you have to come to, like, you have to come as one. Like, you have to realize that's what you, like, that person needs to realize, like, they need time for themselves. And I I had said that multiple times, and it felt like I wasn't being listened to. I felt like, yeah, if you know what I mean. And, um... Yeah, so, um, I basically went away from that and started to focus on myself and I'm going to start doing YouTube videos. I'm going to start, you know, y'all might see some collabs, but I'm not going to say too much because I don't know yet. And, um... I'm going to say stay tuned and let me figure out some things because my process is not done. I have to secure the bag. <laughs> I got to secure the bag. But I'm going to say y'all going to hear more from me. I'm going to. 
I might do a video after this. And so, yeah. I'ma catch y'all later.